Hello, we are from Group Pizza Way and today we will be present our business plan. And these are our group members. Now, let's proceed to our business presentation. Pizza Way is a partnership type of business and as we offer pizzas, we are among the food and beverages group. Our business registers on 1 June 2023. Green represents freshness, suitable with our ingredients which are brand new and fresh. And then, red represents passion and energy. Yellow represents joy. We envision ourselves to become the reputable brand of go to pizza spot for pizza lovers throughout the region. Mission, to provide handmade handcrafted pizzas that are able to create memorable and delightful experience besides establishing business to be the top local choice restaurant appeals to Malaysians and Singaporeans. Now, let's move to organizational structure of our company and provide an overview of the main responsibilities held by each position. At our company, we believe in a strong leadership structure that ensures smooth operations and effective decision making. Our organization is led by a team of talented individuals who bring their expertise and passion to drive our company's success. Leading the charge as our general manager is Nurin Jazlina Arisa Binti Sa'ad. As a visionary behind our company, Nurin Jazlina provides strategic direction and oversees all aspects of our operations. Her main responsibility is to ensure that our company achieves its goals and objectives while maintaining a strong position in the market. Assisting the general manager is Nur Izzati Shazwani binti Ahmad Afindi, our administrative manager. Nur Izzati is responsible for managing administrative tasks including office operations, human resources and internal communication. She ensures that our day-to-day -day activities run smoothly, fostering an efficient and productive work environment. Heading our marketing efforts is Siti Kairina Farzana binti Samsul Kumar, our marketing manager. Siti Kairina is responsible for developing and executing our marketing strategies to enhance brand awareness, attract new customers and increase sales. She stays updated on market trends, conduct market research and collaborates with the creative team to deliver impactful marketing campaigns. Ensuring seamless operational activities is Muhammad Bukhari bin Suhaidin, our operating manager. Muhammad Bukhari oversees our production processes, inventory management, and supply chain logistics. He ensures that our operations run efficiently and that our products are delivered to our customers in a timely manner and meeting their expectations. Managing our company's finances is Andi Siti Faika Arsal binti Muhammad Faisal, our financial manager. Andi Siti Faika is responsible for financial planning, budgeting and monitoring our financial performance. She ensures that our company's financial resources are well managed allowing us to make informed business decisions and maintain long-term sustainability. Together, these talented individuals form the core leadership team of our company. They work collaboratively to achieve our organizational goals and drive our company growth. With our dedicated team, led by our talented leaders, we are confident in our ability to achieve success and deliver exceptional value to our customers. Together, we are committed to building a prosperous future for our company. Different people have different taste buds. Vegans may love onions and pineapples, while non-vegans will enjoy eating meats and bacons. Children could be more delightful with the extra cheese for a better cheese pool. However, the adults might prefer to keep it to a simple pepperoni pizza. Therefore, the idea of combining Western style and Malaysian style concept together with a variety of toppings and sauces to satisfy every age level of customers, we come out with Pizza Way! In our restaurant in Bandar Johor Bahru, no matter if you're in a Singaporean or even a Malaysian, please choose your best. As there are a lot of pizza choices that we offer, 
though each, each of them is already the best one that we could offer, surely mm. that you will choose the best out of the best. Let's get started with market segmentation. We concentrate on adults, career people, children and students ranging in age from 5 to 50 years old, both male and female, with a moderate salary income level. Next, for the geographical category, we offer physical stores that are specifically designed for pickup, as well as an online platform for delivery in Peninsula, Malaysia. Meanwhile, for the behavioural segment, we target those who are on a diet or who are vegetarian since they can control their meal size. Then, we look at the competitors in our industry. Firstly, Subway. The strength of this company is that they are the largest food restaurant chain and they offer a variety of healthy meals. However, their downside is that service may vary from store to store. Secondly, Pizza Hut also offers an innovative pizza menu, hygienic food preparation and speedy service. Their downside is that franchise management and service quality are their huge obstacles. Thirdly, aside from that, Domino's Pizza's assets are consistency, brand awareness and price. Meanwhile, their weaknesses include a lack of in-house dining, a poor delivery experience and a reliance on franchises. Fourthly, US Pizza. They have premium quality ingredients and excellent preparation. On the other hand, they still facing an intense competitors. Lastly, our competitors is Pezu. This pizza is famous with their hygienic quick service but they are limited in target market. For our marketing strategy, apart from selling a complete set of pizza, we offer pizza by slice as well. We also offer a coupon on weekends for discount price, created for a limited period only. Other than that, we create an engaging and user-friendly website that helps clients to easily explore our menu, places orders online and find important information. Also, social media networks like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter allow us to display compelling images, execute interactive campaigns and interact with clients in real time. Lastly, about our marketing budget, it's as much as 6,650 ringgit. Moving on to the financial planning part, I will start first by discussing Pizza Waste Capital. After a proper and detailed calculation, we have decided that we need 124,380 ringgit to start our business. These are the projected expenditure consisting of marketing, administrative and operations expenditure. The total for marketing expenditure is 6,650 ringgit. Administrative expenditure is 16,206 ringgit. And for the operations expenditure, it is 95,601 ringgit. From here, you can see that we will be spending more on operations compared to marketing and administrative expenditure. Next are the projected sales and purchases. We have targeted that we will receive an amount of 144,981 ringgit every month. Hence, the total sales projection for one year will be 1,739,722 ringgit. Meanwhile, for purchase projection will be 63,875 ringgit every month, making it to 766. 501 ringgit a year. Based from this, the company can easily reach profitability in the first month of operating because our sales can cover our purchase projection monthly. Hence, from this on just our first year, we have reached above the break-even point, thus we can pay back our loan smoothly on time and gain back our capital. Not to forget on the implementation process of this project. Our project consists of 8 phases 
starting from business startup from July to August 2022, continued by location identification on September to October. Now here's the longest part, which is obtaining the required permit for the business. Following that is staffing and training, menu setup which took us one month respectively, place preparation and machine installation took place on April and ended in May this year. And before we open our business officially, which will be made on the middle of the month, our efforts are focused on strategizing our short and long term marketing and also the implementation of all those. Based on our records, we are going through all the process for 12 months and 15 days. Since we will start our business with 124,380 ringgit as our capital, about 51,344 ringgit will be from our contributions as fellow partners. Meanwhile, we will take up a loan to cover for the remaining balance of 73,036 ringgit with the 124,380 as our capital we will spend it on our fixed assets for 14,361 ringgit working capital consisting of administrative expenditure for 10,096 ringgit marketing expenditure for 800 ringgit operations expenditure for 63,875 ringgit after we have calculated we have decided to spend more on our operations expenditure compared to others to start our business. Aside from that, we will spend some of the money to buy fixed assets such as office equipment for 900 ringgit, computers for 2400 ringgit, storage rack, telephone and signboards. Also, we will be buying machine and equipments for 9161 ringgit. Meanwhile, the balance will be spent on pre-operations and other expenditures and also 5% of contingencies. This presentation is not just some word of mouth, but to make it good impression on all of you local and non-local public towards Pizawi. Not to be cliche, but towards the process of strategizing and implementing certain early ones, we humbly believe that with our main advantage, which is providing savoury satisfaction to various types of age groups and dietary preferences, our sales business will stand compatible with the support of all of you. This is our starting point, and we want to continuously develop now and after. Aiming high and offer you high quality pizza just for you. Just remember, choose your best better than the rest.